Hi guys, my name is Means. This is going to be a review for Fans Project Revolver Core and uh, add-on Shadow of Fisher's Assault Cross. Yep. Uh, initially, I wasn't a fan of Revolver Core, uh, particularly the color scheme. Just not the yeah the design I like at that time. But slowly, I started to like it. Actually, I really like the steel core uh, made by Fans Project. That that guy is amazing. And I kind of want to get more from that particular design and I found about that revolver and there you go <laughs> Probably got one. Uh, it was a bit of a clearance at the BBTS and partly the reason why I went for it And they have this add-on although the add-on wasn't on clearance so. But nonetheless, I went for it and I'm quite happy I get to play around with it already But for this review I had to put it back <laughs> Alright, so here we go. I just want to show it. So this add-on is quite nifty. Uh, basically, you put more stuff on revolver core here. And initially, Fans Project did made uh, recoiler and rip shot. And the armor on those, or extra gadgets, is what you put on to revolver, which is basically this add-on. So uh, it'll be a little different than we see here. Or actually, actually they haven't shown here, but the instruction says inside. Interesting enough, this doesn't have instructions, but it's similar enough that you can follow whatever instructions inside. Alright, that's about it uh, for the box art. Let's take a look inside. Alright, so we have the figure here. Uh, we got four weapons. Uh, we got the illustrated booklet here. Just want to quickly go over it. So this is number four. And now uh, we have a really nice illustration here. There we go. I'm gonna see if I remember how to transform this. I only transform it once, like last week. <laughs> and here we go. So what is that, a lock? Oh, actually this is the part where you combine the armor on. It's gonna be a little different since we're using that different add-ons of the same thing <laughs> so here's the lineup uh, you know this is made uh, a couple of years ago so they have the defender steel core uh, let's see here rift shaft assaulter recoiler and revolver so out of the six um, I got two uh, it's gonna be really hard to hunt down the other the rest of them yeah but I'm happy for what I have so far. I got steel and revolver. They're, they're pretty cool uh, figures. Yeah, it'll be interesting to get the rift shop and recoiler, or the actual ones. But anyways, uh, that's it for this year's booklet. All right, so uh, in terms of color scheme, yeah, I'm not too fond of uh, orange, green, and brown. That's it's a, it's a weird color scheme for me, but uh, slowly I'm, I'm getting getting into it. <laughs> yep. And actually, in uh, person, this is not too bad. Um, I like it. Uh, it has that uh, pastel color, not too bright, so it's it's good. Uh, it does have uh, decals here, pre-painted, which is nice. Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, its design, it's it's a really blocky. Yeah, there's a lot of corners here and there. And articulation-wise, I'll start with the head here. So the head does have limitation. It cannot move further because of the backside of the head hitting that. And if you try to you know push this up some more, it just won't let you. you know, so. What you can do is look down a little bit and get that clearance to the side. So it's looking down, but you can move him to look on the side there. Yeah. So, it, yeah, there is limitations on the neck. Now for the shoulder, I can rotate this, this around and I move this up. You got that hinge right there. You got bicep swivel and uh, you get the elbow bend 90 degree uh, you have wrist articulation this tends to move around because of uh, transformation later on so with those 
you know, I give him certain uh, good poses. You got the waist here. Uh, there's really not much of abdomen uh, articulation. <laughs> so used to that with uh, figures. And uh, you have your waist. It's got like, a little bit of a hinge there. I would think, yeah, a little bit of a hinge. Tie swivel. Elbow bend. Or sorry, knee bend. Although there's not much going on here. It's uh, too blocky. But maybe bend it uh, that way. There we go. It's not too bad. Then uh, you have your ankle here. It's just a hinge. And you do have a little a swivel there for the feet. So you're able to put it on the side. Which is good. Yeah. So uh, fairly good articulation. Not the best. Uh, it is a transformer after all. Uh, there is certain limitation. But for what you need, it's actually really good. Alright, so that's that. Uh, we have the weapons here. Um, unfortunately, they're not painted. We can always add that detail. So you have this uh, like a rifle here. You got two pistols. Yep. And you got this uh, kind of like a cannon thing. Now there is a gimmick to combine them. Uh, let me see if I remember this. You put this on top. This part kind of uh, sits right here. Then this one here. And it just goes here. Now there is a notch there on top. And a little, I'm not sure if you see that. But here, I mean, it, it, it lines up. It's supposed to grip that top part, the sights. But once you pop it off, the plastic is a little bit soft. And you're going to end up, uh, yeah, I can pretty much rub that off. That little peg there, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> So just heads up, it does happen, or it might happen to you. And you get this really uh, long rifle, which is nice. And I would just push it here. And there we go. The pack connection is, or it's circular, but the handles are in that rectangular shape. But it works. Yep. And see if I uh, he can hold it this way, but I cannot move this because of this hitting. <laughs> and you don't really have much uh, length there, so he cannot hold this with two hands. But you still have the other one here. There we go. Ah, if I can get that thing to hold. <laughs> there, you can dual wield. And also... Um, You can, uh, he has mounting points, especially on the top right there. You can just put this whole thing up there, I think. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but uh, it could be a shoulder cannon now. Likewise, you can interchange this. Have this one here. And have another one on this side. Uh, you have more connection points on the side here even on the back there we go for storage although it's kind of weird to have it in the back there I was gonna reach it maybe he does <laughs> uh, I think there might be some here um, I'm not entirely sure maybe it's just design but yeah um, really cool uh, accessory and add-on and that's it for a robot mode um, let me try transforming it We'll see how it goes. Alright, so here's me struggling. <laughs> Actually, before we get there, there is that little guy. Right here on the back. Which are really cool. So you take that out. Um, push this down here. You got the legs. Open up the chest. And you flip up the head. Flip it over. And there you go. You got the... Revolver. I'm not sure if this is the name, the revolver, the actual little guys. Not so much for the, the huge <laughs> thing that they pilot. I would assume, yeah, this, because this is the core. So even this guy have quite a bit of articulation, which is surprising. You got knee bend. Yeah, really cool. 
Right, um, let's just put this aside here. Alright, so uh, let's see if I remember this. Probably not. So uh, we're gonna put this down. Yeah, I'm just gonna push that down there. <laughs> push this up. There's a panel here. So there, there's a panel that this slide this down. There we go. And let's push the head down there. Um, something tells me. Let's see here. I might have to flip this over. Uh, let's see. This part has to connect there somehow. And like that. Huh, I think. There we go. <laughs> I'm just going on my instincts here. How how would how I would transform this? There we go. So connect that part there. All right, and uh, push this up. This whole thing goes down like that. There we go. We're we're getting somewhere. Get the wheels up there. And I think this one, they, huh? They mentioned something about later on for the add-on. You gotta be in a certain angle. So let's see if I got that right. Uh, let's see. Got there. We go. I'm trying to find that. Uh, let's flip this hand over. There we. Go, I think. There seems to be something off here, which I will probably soon f find. In, uh, soon find. There we go. Because we got this hollow uh, part here, huh? Hmm. I may have to, but anyways, let's we'll keep going. <laughs> All right. So here, uh, let's see. This opens up. This one opens up too. There we go. And I think uh, this kind of folds on its own to the side for what I think it would be. There we go. Yeah, I think this goes to that over there. Whether it's this way or probably this way. Okay, you want to go that way. Open this up and kind of just match the panels together. So this goes here. This goes on top here. All right, so um, we're doing good so far. Just uh, intuitively building this thing. Yeah, there, there's pegs that you have to match, so. <laughs> Let me get that uh, lined up. Eh, for the most part, it, it's there. Oh, that's what happened. Alright, flip it over. That's... <laughs> Um, something tells me that's not supposed to be how it's supposed to be. Huh. There we go. Ah, that was the... Then how it... Hmm. Okay, so there is that uh, space there. There we go. So next time I should really practice this before showing this 
<laughs> in camera, but that's the uh, fun part of uh, Transformers. Trying to figure it out. Or maybe not for a review, but uh, I almost got it. There we go. So the transformation this one is not too bad. It's actually quite easy. And extraction does kind of make it a little bit more difficult than it really, than it actually is. So uh, here we go. Uh, we got the Jeep. The treads does not move, but the front wheel does. And uh, you got some, you got basically a seat there. And now uh, you can have uh, this little guy here pilot it or drive on it. There we go. Well, actually, you have to bend the elbows. Because that uh, shoulder armor is just too big. And there we go. It's just there chilling. It's a, it's a big Jeep. Uh, this side here and it kind of makes it too big. But I guess it's more of an armored uh, car. And if I can get all this panel lined up. More or less. All right. So uh, with this, um, again, with the panel on the backpack, uh, you can put your weapons, so you can display it or load it out here and there. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'm trying to I have to remember if. Uh... Hold on. This is the part where you actually need to look at the instructions. All right, so no, it's like that. Actually, you can use the guns as shown here. Okay, that becomes a bumper. I was uh, wondering about that part there. So uh, push that back in, and uh, this is why we need to have the hands in a certain way. That way, it can be put back, and actually, huh? Can combine the pistols back to back. Yeah, there we go. All right, now it's complete. All right, now uh, I'm. This is the part where I have to put the the cross assault add-on uh, on here before I go change it back to robot mode and continue on. All right, now before we continue on and. Uh, there's something. There's an issue with this one. Uh, this is the cross one, and this is kind of like the hub. Or becomes the feet armor and uh, there's this sliding mechanism here yep and there's a little tab there uh, mine actually broke off on the other one let me see how good this thing is it's still there but I'm gonna go ahead and replace uh, that particular one yeah for some weird reason mine broke off so here's the other side and what I did is basically replace it with a paper clip. And I just want to demonstrate that maybe it will break on you. I'm not sure. This one this seems to be working fine. Just that one broke, but might as well replace it now. So typically what you want to do, unscrew this. Helps a magnet. <laughs> a little bit more and make sure you try not to strip that uh... yeah that's good enough. all right so right here yeah that just came off I'm gonna go ahead and just rip it off right there I probably should have cleaned it all right, so got my hobby knife here. It's always good uh, to clean that knob off or whatever you're going to be working on. And just FYI, I'm using a ceramic uh, blade. That's why I'm not getting cut on my thumb. Yeah, even though I do this, it's not going to cut me. It's nice. So check out ceramic blades too. <laughs> Alright, after you've 
cut it out or if it, it does broke off where do you put the peg so when we look at this oh well, the top part here so when it slides off it's gonna be hitting here I'm uh, not sure if that's good so it's the basically the bottom here not the tip right there all right so take your uh, pin vise get a little bit of drill and we'll start drilling here doesn't have to be uh, exact where it should be but you gotta also gonna make sure that you're drilling where the peg was because if you drill a little bit to the left or to the right it's not gonna be centered on that hole right there so, right, so you start uh, just drilling away and uh, take your time if you're doing this you know, some of you probably know how to do this but uh, also you gotta make sure you don't drill all the way and puncture your skin on the other side It just moderate the uh, pressure I'm not gonna try to go all the way as long uh, once you start seeing that then it's probably uh, all the way in there now next part get some uh, I just use paper clips for my rods or you can just use a metal rod there we go it's about there okay grab your Wire cutters. Do not use your hobby uh, nippers. Make sure you uh, you have uh, actual wire. There we go. Um, let's see here. Then you always uh, fit test, and I put it on there. There we go. So that's probably good enough. But before. Uh, before you end that, sorry, before you end it there, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, uh, lose of lost for words sometimes when I'm doing this demo. <laughs> I get multitask, so you get to dab a little bit of super glue. I like using gel control because it gives me a little bit more time to work on it. There we go, just a little uh, drop on top. You grab that uh, little bit of wire and put it oh that was bad <laughs> there we go sometimes when you pinch the uh, paper clip it's not round anymore on one side then you kind of just uh, push it all the way in there we go now you're gonna have excess super glue. You get grab a paper towel and you kind of wipe that off. So you don't want that uh, extra glue when you put it back on here. All right. So uh, before we put it on, we want to make sure it does not stick out because if it does stick out and you put this on another surface. It's gonna scratch. So get up your work cutter and make another. Maybe just a little bit of a, a trim there. There we go. I mean that thing is uh, still gonna be sharp, but putting on here, I can still feel it. Maybe a little bit more. I think this is gonna be a really long video. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't feel it anymore, and it does hold. And I think we're done for this uh, little demo. So this is this is just in case uh, yours failed, like what happened on mine. Hopefully, it does not happen to you, but you never know. But uh, part of this, as a toy collector, you gotta know how to fix your toys. <laughs> Put this back on. Always good to have magnets. It's a lot easier to put little screwdrivers here and there. There we go. 
and I might be using the wrong screwdriver. You don't want to strip that uh, Phillips head. But uh, there we go. Now it's all good. It's going to stay there. You got a metal rod. The only thing that, that might fail on this is in that little plastic there. If that happens, well, that's for another demo. Actually, I'm not too sure how to fix that uh, problem. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. Alright, getting back to this. Again, we got the Jeep here. And actually, I had to push this all the way in. There we go. Alright, so uh, we have the top part here. Basically, there's two parts here that you can buy. Just a peg. And this kind of goes on top of your Jeep. So first thing we gotta do is push this down in the panels here. There are certain pegs uh, connection this here, and basically we're gonna match that somehow. <laughs> so again, uh, this little ones here uh, goes to there. Then uh, you got some here that goes to here, and um, we also have this part here kind of latch on the back which I'll demonstrate now this is not gonna be a nice fit it just does not work for me as long as I got it on top uh, that's good enough yeah now this one latches here just kind of hooks in there and kind of just push it back and Try to get all the tabs back together <laughs> if it wants to. Um, yeah, it's it doesn't feel uh, secure at all. Uh, it's yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, it's not too bad so we got the front part actually the top part the next part is this is the hands um, basically it was like uh, this just move this forward like so got that cannon or blaster in front and there is a peg hole right there right on top of the wheel there's another one right there and you just match it so this one is uh, actually quite straightforward. Kind of wrap around the hands on top. There we go. Same thing with this other one here. Quite nice. And uh, you got this. I kind of forgot what they call it, but uh... well, um, for trainer like the cow pushers. <laughs> or the cow yeah when there's a cow on the railroad tracks we have a uh, the front of the train and it kind of just pushes the cow out to the side but there's a proper term for it but this one um this might be to hold something or push something up but uh if you got an armor car like this yeah you could pretty much ram to a lot of things not all but a lot of things and uh, this looks quite nice. I like it. It looks like uh, it's ready to do some damage. Uh, there is... Look at the instruction and there seems to be another connection with this one. Apparently, uh, it does not work for this particular add-on. Uh, there is another peg hole here, but it's not present at this time. <laughs> so we're going to put attach this on the back side. And uh, we're gonna go up here. There we go. Which is not too bad at all. Except for those uh, kids popping off. Alright, there we go. Next part, you have this rifle, the big one. It has some nice details to it. Yep. Now you craft uh, this particular uh, gun and you can attach it here. Now this is not going to be a good fit as always and trying to get it on there 
is a little bit challenging and you're going to be hitting that clear plastic. Might help to trim that clear plastic a little bit, but it's in there. I don't think my hobby knife will reach that. But uh, getting this thing on while this thing is wobbly is a challenge. There we go. That's good enough. So it's kind of like a side thing. <laughs> Interesting. And this one will be mounted on top here. I guess you can choose here or there. Uh, let's just go maybe here. Actually, it does not fit here. There we go. So you get one there. Then if you want to do this also, you can attach this rifle here. And there you go. Yeah, you're fully loaded. I mean, you, you do have some missile gimmicks here. If I can get the, this thing to open, and I popped it off. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I'd pop off the pegs on the side here. I think I'm just going to end up breaking this thing. Might be able to fix it, but there we go. Well, you get the idea. And I don't know if I can open it up. Oh, okay, I didn't break it this time. All right, you got it fully loaded. Quite nice. Um, I think you can still put the little guy inside there. But yeah, this is really cool. I like it in this armored mode. <laughs> Alright, so let me turn me back to robot mode and put the armor the other way around. Alright, back to robot mode. So let's start with the feet. There we go. And let's see if I can remember this again. Um, for this one, we're going to lift this up here. Lift this panel up. Something like that. And... Uh, yeah, I think it's something like this. So basically, this is the front part. It's going to clip on here. And there is a peg hole, just a little tab or a little peg down there, which uh, connects it in place. Actually, this one goes in front here. So once you get that foot first, there we go. Clamp that on and this just goes on front like right there and i think uh, that's basically it yeah this does not it's not a secure uh, connection here on the knee but and uh, with that sliding uh, mechanism again, it's uh, actually quite nice. Um, can have that little piston action. So that's one side. Let's uh, work on the other one. Again, open this up. Push this down. There we go. Put this over. Clamp that in place. Connect this to the knee. And there we go. Now you have the feet. <laughs> Moving on, we have this, the hands. So uh, for this one, so this is gonna be for the left. We're gonna rotate. You got some articulation here. You got the, basically your two joints on your fingers, which is good. And you have your thumb. There we go. Now this one's going to be held by his original hand. We're just going to flip it over like so and connect this here. It's a very basic connection. There's that tab again, which actually connects on top of the forearm right there. So it's a two connection and that's uh, just to make it more secure. Here we go. And now we have a joint arm. I'm not sure if you can really do anything uh, to cover, but uh, I think that's it. 
I kind of wish you can use this one to cover the side here or there's another panel to hide that hand but yeah not really complaining there <laughs> there we go get the other hand same thing put it onto the side connect that to the hand and on to the top there we go and for the most part it's secure connection now this makes him quite heavy which what you want <laughs> I kind of wish they gave you some kind of armor for the head also or like here in the torso I know the torso is already big but it would be nice uh, so this is kind of like a power loader now the next part one second, let me try to grab this is or actually on here you can uh, put the shoulder uh, rockets over here on top and there you go you can open them up So you got rockets on the shoulder, rockets on the leg, <laughs> and you got your rifle here. Now for the rifle, you can use one of this handle for the hammer, which will go in a bit, and you can put it here on top, and it just becomes the scope. And you can have him hold this. Now holding this is a, a little bit uh, tricky, because there is no connection. Um, to hold it uh, properly yeah so let me see if I can uh, hold this because you got this connection here which doesn't really yeah do much so what do you do is actually there's a little peg here and you'll see that that's what you use you slide that in kind of gives you uh, somewhat of a secure uh, hold on that gun and you're gonna be holding it like this it's uh, a little weird but uh, that's that's what you're going for <laughs> and that's the only way to hold it uh, properly like so yeah. obviously weight will be an issue uh, but let me see here with this extended hand you can actually support it with the other And there you go. It's kind of weird, but it works. <laughs> and uh, you still have all this, you know, weapons and accessories you can put on the rest of his body. All right now, uh, let's go over uh, with the hammer. It's the hammer's cool gimmick. We take this out again. There we go. Starting to slide down now. All right. Close those, you got pegs, what do you do? You connect them. There we go, and uh, you have a peg connection there. So you get four of these guys. You probably just need to connect them. There we go, connect them. And you get yourself your hammer. Quite big hammer, which is nice. You put it here. Again, I thought you can hold it here, uh, I guess not. Um, there's really no secure way of holding this other than really gripping it on the hands like so which he holds there we go except for the little looseness there um, I'm gonna have to check what kind of a joint that is uh, if I can just add a little bit of uh, clear floor polish kind of tighten up that joint yeah that's kind of needed but yeah um you get the hammer and i should probably hold the other rifle here it's always good to have all the accessories um in there all right so again it's not gonna be a full but uh, that's good enough. And 
and again we can put the other accessories pretty much wherever you want to I mean let's see here what can we do with this nah it's not gonna work like that uh, because in the original instructions they tell you to put it here I think There we go. We're actually on the back side here, but um, I find that it does not work well. It's too loose. See that? It does pop off. Yeah, uh, there is a lot of uh, connection points. You just gotta find it. Uh, you can even put this on the legs here, but it does kind of stick out. Hmm. Yeah, you just gotta find. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, um, I don't want to drag this review for too long while I play around with this thing. But yeah, this is a really nice uh, set. I really like it. I mean, there, there is a bit of a, a few issues uh, with mine. Um, it is loose because of its heaviness. But overall, comparing it with the steel core, yeah, that guy is amazing uh, with all the bulk. I really like it. I'm quite happy that I got it. And yeah, I would recommend it. It is quite pricey. Again, these are third uh, party transformer uh, companies uh, making this, by, and it's made by a fan project. Um, it is an, one of their older uh, release, but again, I like it. <laughs> Anyways, that's about it for the review. Sorry for it uh, being lengthy, but I kind of just want to go over it. Kinda, I want to share my experience transforming it as well and the way i have to fix certain things anyways that's it so until then this is beads thanks for watching